no such thing as a giant floating ghost head. There is no such thing as a giant floating ghost head. There is no such thing as a giant... Stop gaslighting me. There is no such thing as a giant floating murderous Asian ghost head. There is no such thing as a giant floating murderous Asian ghost head. I don't want to say the line. You got to say the line. It's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't get old. Yes, indeed, the very anticipated return of the Death Forest series. Now, if you don't know what that is, I stumbled across this series a while back when someone on Twitter shared screenshots of the movies. And all I saw was this big floating head with a stretched bloody smile. And there was no way in hell I was not gonna find these movies. But they were not easy to find. And if you did find them, you damn sure weren't finding them with subtitles. So when I reviewed the first part, thankfully, it was uploaded to YouTube. YouTube has this auto translate feature where it translates the dialogue in real time to subtitles, which on paper sounds incredible. But in reality, it just doesn't work the majority of the time. Like it just, just nothing happens. To its credit, sometimes it seems like it nails it. Other times, It'll translate it, but the translation is, uh, questionable. So you did kill him. <laughs> is that just like a really racist way of saying that? Yeah, kill confirmed. Planted the rice. <laughs> he said it. I don't know what the fuck the translation is. Blame, cancel YouTube. Hashtag cancel YouTube. Just a few days after my review went up, this YouTuber, Zero, blessed the platform and uploaded part two and three of the Death Voice series. So shout out Zero, because it was the only way I was able to watch part two. And I watched it with the auto translate feature again. It still works about the same, but I do have good news for you because I like this part way more than the first. Please enjoy my reaction to Death Forest 2. All right, let's watch this movie about this fake head covered in white. Speaking of fake head that ends up covered in white. Yes, indeed, this video is sponsored by Fleshlight. Ready, three, two, one, boom. Okay, the time has come. Death Forest 2, trying to see what big Pac-Man ghost has for us. I have not revisited Death Force in any kind of way, even like rewatched my review of it. So I don't, I don't really remember anything about it. I just remember the monster, obviously. And I think it didn't like light. Other than that, I got nothing. Oh, it's not showing up in the photos. Got it, okay, so floating globe head is gaslighting him. That is the start to this plot, part two. By the way, speaking of the plot, I don't know what it is. At least I didn't. I managed to find some sort of synopsis on Asian wiki. I don't see color, so. And the synopsis goes like this. A high school drama club has a training camp at an ex-school building near a dark forest. Troubled student Kazuki suddenly joins the drama club on the day they go to the training camp. But Kazuki doesn't take part in their practice. Kazuki slips out and doesn't come. Oh, what's that? It sounds like they're just starting to describe scenes. Oh, what's that? Why isn't the massive fucking floating head being mentioned? You know, that thing that I can imagine is the only reason you've sought out the Death Forest series? I like these little, uh, what are, what are these, like, pan flutes or some shit? I like this, motherfucker's going crazy on that right now. I felt mythical as fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna have to become a body language expert during this watching. I'm gonna be like the motherfuckers that were examining the Amber Heard trial every single time. What Johnny was really trying to say at this part. At this point, I could be playing some lo-fi right now at full blast and uh, it would not change it like- I'm absorbing the movie in the same exact way right now. In fact, I'm getting more out of this. And speaking of getting more out of this, I look back at my first review and started to remember how the first movie was kind of 
nothing. I enjoyed the aura surrounding the movie, but as a viewing experience, who gives a shit? Just watch the death scene compilation and call it a day. This sequel unfortunately follows the same format as the first, but I'm slightly more interested in the story. The scares are scarier, and we see more of what we came to see. This big tooth spalding that LeBron just pre-gamed on. You can't miss. You can't miss this. He's bloody missed it! What a prat! What a prat! That was phenomenal. I, I was concerned for her. I thought she was going straight to the fucking gym floor. You were gonna hear like all the squeaks and shit. This girl is maybe too popular. Not fucking with her. That's the vibe I'm getting. Cause she has like the villain bob. This girl has the cute innocent ponytail. That's gotta be it. Thousand percent. Can I just read you some of the auto-translate that pops up? The, the next thing that pops up, I'll start reading whatever it puts on, on there. That's all I'm saying, so I'll definitely write a book until I graduate. The guy I went to last time was interesting. I think it's really good to stop from the ruins water. This is just in case any of you have the gall to try and correct me on my dialogue interpretation. I'm just sitting here looking at bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I like her acting a lot. Oh, so this is this is the teacher with morals that's been trying to turn her life around. Hey, come on, you gotta focus on your studies. What are you doing out here? Then I tell you about smoking. Your mom wouldn't like you doing that. My mom's dead. I know, but she told me to look after you. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. This is what I'm getting for the movie right here. Oh, that was some sassy. Someone translate that one. That was sassy. I want to know what that sassy shit was. Ooh, creepy old lady alert. Creepy old lady alert. Abdominum. Okay, they're vocalizing. That's good. That was some, that was some fire. Fucking nail that. Fucking mic drop. Okay, so it's taking me this long to think about the villain again. The big fucking head, the whole the whole reason I'm watching this movie, I've, I've, I've been... Auto-translate just translated. Oh, 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 Not joking. Filled up the entire, the longest line I've seen so far in translation. Okay, the girl with glasses doesn't seem to like what's going on. She's like, I'm trying to do this work. You guys are busy talking about this girl and trying to get her involved in all this shit. Now this lady's going into cardiac arrest. There was a weird flashback where villain girl was holding a knife and people were screaming. It's possible this might even be a pivotal character from the first. I just don't. I remember the cop because they showed him in the beginning. I don't remember anybody else from the first movie. Oh, no. If those photos exist, I want them. That's also a great photo. I want that on my fridge tonight. Okay, so he couldn't see the face on the photos and then he started chain smoking for 12 hours straight and then he could see him again. Oh, that, oh, this, this lady's summoning something. She's got some sort of power. She's doing some devious ass shit right now, looking up at the trees. She's one with the trees. She's like, this movie's Lorax. So villain girl threatened to kill a teacher with her pocket knife. So basically she's misunderstood. Are we gonna get a mirror jump scare? Okay, I'm in. It's all starting to come back to me now. All the nostalgia of what the fuck is this is flowing through me now. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, taking bets. Who's gonna die first? I guess it would make sense for the teacher to die first. She's not really connected to anything. Okay, villain girl killed somebody? Is she just being framed as the killer? No, there's blood on the knife. No, I, th I still think she's being framed. Mm -mm. My girl would never. She's trying to save him. She's gonna get eaten by Big Head. Stay away, Big Head! Ya bad! Okay, person who dies next, I'm gonna say her. I think she dies next. The other two have been piping up a lot and they seem to have like, they could play off the banter a little bit longer. Main girl's obviously not gonna die. Villain girl's gonna stay alive too. So I'm gonna say girl all the way on the right gets snatched up. That's my bet. We'll see how many we can get in a row. I'm assuming the police officer was coming back here. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know where he would wanna go. Like once he just, oh, there's like a little head there. 
Oh, there's like a goblin monster, right? I forgot about that entirely. Oh, shit! What the fuck? See, I'm not expecting like effective jump scares in this movie, so my guard is just on the floor right now. Usually I got the fucking sword and shield ready to go, but that shit's off to the side for this movie. I forgot about, th okay, yes, I remember now. That was a creepy ass fucking monster in part one. So, okay, vi villain girl's still alive. Ostrich, it tastes good. Good job, you two. Okay, so I was wrong on the on the next person to die. That's what that's what this frame's telling me. No, oh, yep. No, you might want to. Yeah, you might want to hit him with the 180 quick scope ladder saw, knowing knowing black uh, black scope. You were supposed to die. Don't you yell. I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah, that shit is terrifying. Oh, she knew the secret. Good shit, good plays, good strats. That, it's quite a sight. Well, at least it's confirmed that they can't leave the school. I'm glad they, I'm glad they did that for me. Oh, crazy lady, wait, you can help us. Oh, wait. Seems like you're enjoying the show. Hmm. Okay, but now other girl dies, right? So the girl I chose to die, I think she dies next. Maybe I can get at least a good percentage here at the end. I'm gonna say girl on the right right there dies, and then glasses girl dies. These two are the last ones alive. Okay, so they definitely just devised the plan. What it is, I guess, it sounds like she has a brain blast right now. Do you guys remember what our teacher told us? She said to stand tall in the face of evil. So that's what I'm gonna do. We never leave any of our sisters. Was it something like that? Was it something cheesy? Leave her, she's dead. Uh oh, oh wait, is the villain girl gonna die next? Oh man, I'm bad at this. I am about to be a steamy one for three, unless she pulls it off, unless she kills Goblin Face. But then again, there are three more parts to this movie, so I'm gonna guess she doesn't. I know that's cheating, but. Is the door gonna close? Have the door close and then have her get pulled down so you don't see what's happening. Do it! Oh no, we're actually gonna close up. Okay, teacher, dead. Confirmed. Oh, is she gonna mourn her? Cause she was like, oh, you're the only one who actually looked out for me. I knew you cared and I'm sorry I couldn't have told you thank you. Or is she like taking keys from her? Maybe that's what she's doing. That kind of makes more sense actually. Yeah, okay, no, never mind. She actually doesn't give a fuck about that teacher. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do the jingle. No, no, no! Oh shit. Oh, okay, there she goes. All right, hold on. We can figure this out, guys. Oh, wait, that was the other girl. Yes, she died! Let's go, I'm two for three, baby. All right, next I said glasses. Yes! The light works on him too? Yeah, no, I would. Yeah, no, she, you can leave her. Yeah. I like the little attention to detail, having the hair still like swivel in the frame, that's cool. Okay, glasses gotta die next. And my percentage is looking great. Smash. Uh oh, she just got a brain blast. She said something that triggered something. That's what it is. Of course, we should have known this whole time. Big head. I've got it. Oh no, she hit her with the you stay here? Oh ho ho. Ooh. Yo, my percentage looking juicy right now. Oh, shit! I think Villain Girl's still alive. Yes, she is. Okay, cool. And she's got the flashlight. So she has, aside from main character plot armor, she's got the highest chance of living right now. She has the only thing that works. Unless that goes out right now in this scene. Oh. No. No, no, she's not gonna die. She's not gonna die. It took too long. It took too long. She's not gonna die. Something's gonna happen. Police officer? In three. Two, one. Oh no, she just killed him. That was it? No one could do that in the first part? Oh wait, I think one of her dilemmas was that she couldn't kill, right? Cause she, maybe that teacher she tried killing. Oh wait, hold on, I'm trying to, oh wait, hold on! Neurons are firing off. Maybe that teacher she tried killing did some fuck shit to her. So she was actually trying to have justice be served and she couldn't do it. And then people thought she was crazy, but she was like, no, I was just trying to do this. You should have died, motherfucker, but I couldn't kill you. But then all of a sudden now she has a character arc where she was able to kill that person. 
Oh yeah, he got big creep vibes right now. Oh yeah, I've seen this scene before. We're about to see some blurring in a second. And yeah, a lot of nipple licking. I'll stop. <laughs> Am I goaded? Am I goaded or am I goaded? Who needs subtitles? Who needs to auto translate? I'm done without it. Mm hmm. She was framed, made her seem crazy. You poor, poor thing. Oh my God, she's like pixel jumping right now. Use a flashlight. Use a flashlight. Use a flashlight. Use the flashlight. No, you can't, you can't, no, you can't conquer your demons like that and then go out like that. Yes! I'm, I'm shocked to say that uh, I'm invested in this storyline right now. I want my girl to win. I want, her, I want her to survive this. She deserves it. She's been mistreated. I don't stand for it. <laughs> it says, I'm stupid too, but you're also pretty stupid. <laughs> I, I'm guessing that's them making up, right? What the fuck was that? Oh, there's more than one. Was there more than one in the beginning? Or in the beginning, in the first part? That's terrifying that there's more than one. Oh no, she's telling her to escape and that she'll fend them off? So she's making heroic sacrifice. What about the other chick? I gotta see the other chick die. Oh, she's about to die. Give me that three for four, baby. Give me that three for four, baby. Come on. Daddy wants a seven. Wait, is she like possessed? Oh yeah, she's already dead 100%. She is zombified out right now. Oh no. Why couldn't you have shared that information? This I don't think you did in that little monologue you said at first. It's kind of funny. Fuck, she's still alive though. She's she's a hater. She's been she, she's been mad about the play this whole time, right? Because there's been creative differences, and it's like, listen, you bitch, you took over my play. I was supposed to have the leading role. So now she's trying to make sure she dies too? Shut up. I want to see Big Head eat you right now. Shut up! Nice. There they go. Oh, who is that girl I see? Is this movie also gonna end with the police officer driving them away on a motorcycle? That'd be hilarious if they do the same ending. Oh yeah, she is hitting some decibels right now. I love this super crazy action music while they both seem, they both seem a bit disinterested in escaping. Let's fucking go! Headlights. It's like, get out of the way! I need a photo of this thing. I'm back, you son of a bitch. This isn't my first rodeo. It's my last. Oh, I hope we said that. Imagine. That's a new one. Write that one down. That's gonna be in a film in two years flat. Why are you not dead? Oh my god. She's she is in the worst escape room I've ever seen. Does this mean there's multiple of the big heads? Hey, yo, what the fuck? The fish police are in on the way to the forest in front. It's close to the foot of the mountain. Right. Uh-oh. Oh, he's telling this connect. You see, I got some photos. I have proof. This thing exists. You're gonna wanna come take a look at this one, Chief. But this lady's like, that's crazy. Do you want me to throw you over that fucking ledge right there? Cause I will. They're gone again. Oh, she's messing with him for sure. It was her all along. That Photoshop was hilarious, by the way. Is she just slipper like her elementary school photo? I'm a little lost. I'm sure you guys have known that since the beginning of this movie, but now just a bit more. These are the parts where I'm gonna need, like these pivotal parts, this is where I'm gonna need some form of translation because I got, I got nothing. Peaceful sleeper, look at my ear out, we're okay. So we're asleep in the same bed. <laughs> okay. And step four is two, ladies and gentlemen. And the saga continues. And... Yes, indeed, this video is sponsored by Fleshlight and they sent me some goodies. They finally sent me a t-shirt that I've been clamoring for. Thank you, I appreciate the free t-shirt. I also like the t-shirt. You didn't ask me my size, but... Your fat ass better fit in a large. Today, their prize product is... 
the Fleshlight Boost. And to answer your question, no, I was not ready. There wasn't too much conversation to be had about what the product was gonna be. So when I got it, this is the Mr. Beast thumbnail that I was greeted with. Mr. Beast! And here we go, the grand reveal. <laughs> <laughs> the picture does not do it justice, nor does this video. I want to make that very clear. So if you guys would like to use my discount code, <laughs> it doesn't work. It was kind of nice. This is like when, uh, when Squidward was trying the Krabby Patty for the first time. Just imagine that. What that mouth do indeed. The little, little fucking Fortnite map that they've given you right here. I know recently they've been sending me some more mechanical. They've been throwing me some fucking Autobots. But now we're bringing it back lifelike style, baby. I mean, I'd be lying to you if I said I was not excited to finally see what that mouth does. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. And in that moment, everything seemed okay. It was no longer me against the world, it was me inside of it. Call me crazy, but I actually heard it murmur something during our time together. It was a bit hard to make out, but it sounded like, I love you. And that's when I knew. That's when I knew that this lifelike orifice, this mouth socket, this cock sleeve with cavities, this grippy gift of gab, this enunciation, this do her lingo, this IRL pog mouth you can fuck till the cows come home. What's the one? Click the link below and use code GGBST for 10% off your one. And thank you, Fleshlight, for sponsoring this video. That's a good time. I enjoy myself watching a movie like that. I cannot talk any shit about that. That is just, uh, it's lovely. Visuals are great. Villain is fucking weird as shit, but still eerie. Goblin dudes are fucking weird as shit, but still eerie. And it's just, just, it's just good old passion. Just good old passion at its core. And you can't get mad at it at all. That was Death Force 2. I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I did. Please leave a like, subscribe. The merch is live. This is permanent merch in the permanent store. The link is on screen. Thank you guys so much. I am trying to hit a million subs in 2023, so if you want to help out with that, you know what to do. If not, I understand. And as always, I am Mr. Gigi, and I am out. Bye.